Well, residents in Southeast Portland speaking out about the type of people who will be housed in a new homeless shelter at Southeast Foster in Holgate. The shelter manager says it will be prioritizing those with disabilities. Our Jennifer Dowling explains why residents say that definition means more drug problems in their neighborhoods. Jennifer? Good evening. Yes, shelter officials say that according to the national definition, someone who's addicted to drugs and alcohol falls under someone with a disability, and that had residents really fired up tonight. You get your drugs through property crime, straight up. Allie Gilbert says she's nine years sober. She's worried about the crime that she feels will follow the addition of a shelter that does not require residents to stay drug and alcohol free. I have major concerns about the location and the brewery. Tonight, the shelter services manager explained to the steering committee and residents that the shelter would have room for 40 single women and 40 couples with priorities for people living with disabilities. Most frustrating to residents, a person who suffers from addiction to alcohol and drug addiction is considered to have a disability. We have not included any place for them to do drugs, which means that they are going to be doing drugs in my neighborhood. We asked the county spokesperson if that could change. Could this be a high barrier shelter? Well, that's exactly what folks discussed is sort of what they wanted for the shelter. Instead, he tried to reassure residents the shelter will not be sending people outside to do drugs. And we want a shelter that more people can come in and get connected to services, and that's what a low barrier shelter means. It doesn't mean no accountability. The county says the shelter will be run similar to the Willamette Center with landscaping to minimize noise and odors. It will have a sheltered entrance behind the building for intake to avoid a line outside. A courtyard will also be provided with artificial turf for dogs. Despite the assurances, some residents won't be convinced. It's their friends who come to visit them that are more of a concern to the neighbors. And transition projects did say tonight that there will be a series of consequences if rules are violated inside and outside the shelter. That can range from 24-hour exclusion from the shelter to 90 days. Back to you. Okay, keep us updated on this story. Jennifer Dowling reporting live tonight. Thanks. Well, so